Hello everybody, welcome back to more Reader Rabbit Interactive Math Journey. So, if you're still here from last time, great! It's only gonna get better because last time we uh, we went to like a, the local colonial house, like probably George Washington's old place. It was made into a quilt shop and we gave free labor to the people working there uh, and made them a bunch of quilts. But now, we're going to World 2 where we're gonna learn about, I'm not sure addition and subtraction, but at the very least addition. Maybe both. I don't really remember. <laughs> I remember like what this world is. I don't exactly remember the math you need in order to solve the game. So let's find out together, shall we? We're off to the land of sugarcane addition. Yeah, addition. Oh, and it's got the little addition sign. Sugarcane field. We find a math addition here. Well, poke around a bit and see what you find. Okay. But I sure hope it all adds up to something. It will, if you take something away with you when you go. <laughs> oh, I love the puns. I don't remember a lot of this. So it looks like we're in uh, South America, maybe? Sugarcane fields. This is pretty cool. All right. So you we... can click on me. I know, Tally Cat. I know or that I can click on, on you, but I don't want to. Hey, bro. What's up? Ah, I've got just the right number of sugar canes. Hey, Simone. Want some more? Here you go. What the heck is that thing? Is that a wizard? Alright, well, I mean, good for him. Uh, so last time we did the book, then the exploration, and then the math song. We're going to start with the song today, because that seems like a better way to go. Okay, it sounds like Mr. Les needs to get fired from that store. What the heck? He's he's driving the this out of there. He's driving them out of business. Also, why are all of the songs like only just the tiniest circle? Like all of the screen is black except for one tiny circle. That just seems kind of weird. Anyhow, looks like we're gonna be um, adding some things in the sugarcane store. Let's go and read a book. Because that's, that's a good thing oh, to do. the sugarcane farmer must carry his canes down the road. To carry his staff, he needs ten canes exact to help him prepare the right load. To turn the page and hear my story, click on the arrow. See, this guy actually has full animation, unlike Eyeshadow B last time. I remember this guy, uh, Simone the Sugarcane Donkey. Yeah, he's got a cool design. I, I like his boots, and I like his uh, glasses. <laughs> they look very nice. Good job, bro. Each day he starts with a bundle of sugar cane stacked on his tray. He only goes when he's loaded with ten. Help him to cart it away. Help me carry ten sugar canes down the road. To add canes to my stack, click on the bundle of canes I need. Then bring it over to my tray. To subtract canes from my stack, you can click on the bundles on my tray and carry them to the field. Yeah, I, I remember this. Oh, man. It's awakening the deepest <laughs> reaches of my nostalgia. Like, oh, my gosh. Yeah, we've got different colored sugar canes. I thought sugar canes were all, like, a greenish color like that. But, no, apparently he's got four purple sugar canes. Color doesn't matter. That's just to help you differentiate how many are in each bundle. We, he needs ten. He has four. So, we're going to need six more. Oh, that rhymed. Hey, I can carry more than that. Add more. I, I was trying to... Oh. You have to drag it. I thought you just clicked and then released. Correcto. Good job. There we go. That's what the sugar canes are supposed to look like. Some 
sometimes his load is too heavy, and sometimes his load is too light. He needs ten to progress, no more and no less. So make sure his number is right. <laughs> I like the I like how all of these the story pages are in limericks. It's actually it's kind of cool. All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. You need two more. Good job. Nice job, Simone. Carefully carrying sugarcane takes all of the skill that he's got. The trick is to ship just ten with each trip before he begins his next trot. Okay, so... I think now we have to drag stuff off. Oh, so we are doing subtraction! Oof. And now he needs three more. Muchas gracias. Thank you. Yeah, okay, that's that's cool. So we are doing addition and subtraction. Two of the most important uh, mathematical operations to know about. That was cool. That was a nice game. Now that the canes are delivered, he has a new standard to meet. Because he's always itching to trot to the kitchen where there's sweet food left over to eat. Okay. <laughs> Easy there, Roadrunner. <laughs> Boom! We completed the math tale. Aw, yeah. Now let's go off to the sugar shack. Because uh, apparently we've got some baking to do. That sounds like something you'd hear on Living with the Land in Epcot. Here we go. I remember this well. This is one of my favorite games. Hola! Welcome to Simone's Sugar Cane Bakery. Let's help Simone and his pastry assistants, Mr. Less and Mr. Moore, Make some desserts! Ah! Buenos dias, my friends! First, we'll need to change these sugar canes into cups of sugar. This sugar cruncher needs... 10 sugar canes at a time to make cups of sugar. Exactly 10, no more and no less. two bundles that add up to... 10, and drag them into the sugar cruncher's two cane grinding basket. Easy. Alright. Yeah, so, gotta get 10 sugar canes. Two groups that add nine. up to ten. So that's nine and one. One. How sweet it is! Let's make the sugar. Let's get the sugar mixture. Good job! Awesome. Seven. Seven and three. three. I mean, you're gonna need more than it's sugar in order to... more sugar. <laughs> You're gonna need more than just uh, sugar to make baked goods, five. but okay. Here, we'll do five, five and five. Good job! Oh, pff, those are two sugar canes two. on the bottom. That looked like a, one of Tally's weird hats. Alright, two plus eight, we get another ten. Bada beam, bada boom! Look at all this sugar! Let's see what's on the dessert menu. Yeah, this is what I'm interested in. Let's make some desserts. Let's clear out the bottom rack by making desserts. This rack holds 10 cups of sugar. Okay. Which uh, dessert should we make? Click on a dessert to find out what it is. Cookies. To make banana chips, we'll need two cups of sugar. Banana chips? Uh-uh. No, no, no. I thought those were cookies. Forget that. I, there's no way I'm making banana make chips. Hot chocolate. We'll need one cup of sugar. Yeah, I, I'll make. I'll make that. I'll make hot cocoa. You're also gonna need like chocolate for that. <laughs> we have nine cups of sugar left in the rack. Cool. What else can we make? What's this? To make a milkshake, we'll need nine cups of sugar. How? What? Nine cups of sugar in one milkshake? Do not drink that milkshake. What the heck? Also, that hot cocoa has one whole cup of sugar in it. That's at least a little more believable, but that's still way too much. Look, here comes Mr. Moore to help Simone. Okay, he is a lizard. Looks like you'll be needing more of these. Thanks, bro. Time to make more sugar. Good job. 
Ah, the sweet smell of success. Let's play again. Sure. The chef's hats show how many sugarcane shelves you've cleared out. Clean out five shelves and five sugar crunchers to collect an activity star. Click on your chef's hat to begin a new game. We can take two bundles of sugar canes from the shelves and place them in the two cane grinding baskets. We need two bundles that add up to 11. Oh, now we gotta get to 11 now, is that it? 9. 9 plus 2 is 11! Pretty soon, we'll need some more canes! Just, just focus on getting the canes, Mr. Moore. And keep Mr. Less Good out of job. here. <laughs> Alright. 8. 8 plus 3. three. Good job! Thank you. Seven. I tried real hard. Four. Yeah, this is, a, this is a great way to teach kids about addition. There's nothing that makes kids care more Good about addition to, than knowing it'll help them get more desserts. Six. Although, Five. banana chips are not a dessert. <laughs> it's like... <laughs> one of those punish... <laughs> it's one of those foods Master you feed your kid as punishment. Let's see what's on the dessert menu. Yes, let's. They be there better not be banana chips again. I am not making banana let's chips. Clear out okay, the good. Bottom rack by making desserts. This rack holds eleven cups of sugar. Eleven cups of sugar, eh? What's this? To make fried ice cream, we'll need eight cups of sugar. Fried ice cream? Why? I know. Well, actually, this is South America. In the United States, we like to fry everything, but ice cream is going too far. But we're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. More desserts! <laughs> what was we that face that Simo was making? Cups of sugar left in the rack. All right. What else can we make? What's this? To make a cornmeal cake, we'll need three cups of a sugar. A cornmeal cake? That doesn't sound very appealing, but I mean, what else are we going to do with three cups of sugar? Look! Here comes Mr. Les to help Simone. These won't last long. Stay out! Whoops! Time to make more sugar! Good job! Uh, bien. Simone, again. I'm pretty sure your business Click would be, um... Begin a new game. Much more profitable if you just fired Mr. Less. <laughs> He's just eating all your products so you can't sell them. What the heck? We can take two bundles of sugar canes from the shelves... This is <laughs> this is this is not how small businesses are supposed to operate, folks. Oh, now we need to add them up to thirteen. Ten plus three. That's an easy one. Time to crunch up some sugar. Good job. Awesome. Nine. Nine plus four. Nice strategy I do. Whenever you add something to nine. Uh, just add it by 10 and subtract it by 1. You, you might think that's an extra step so it would be harder, Eight. but no. It's easier to visualize that way. 8 five. plus 5. Good job! Alright. 7. 6. That's a lot of sugar canes. Alright, my goal is to make... The good desserts. None of this banana chip got. nonsense. Let's like, what the heck? The menu. I'm still deeply offended on a personal level that banana chips are offered at a bakery. Let's clear out the bottom rack by making dessert. Oh, okay. This rack holds well, we've 13. made everything except cups this. Sugar. To make cookies, we'll need oh, really? Those are sugar. cookies, not the, the banana chips. Well, we're making cookies. We're making cookies. Cool. Less sugar. Also, again, four cups of sugar to make cookies. We have. Even if you're making like a ton of cookies, that's around. way too much sugar. What else can we make? Unless you're literally making like 8,000 cookies. <laughs> Alright, we've got nine left. I guess we're making another milkshake. To make a milkshake, we'll need nine cups of sugar. <laughs> everybody loves drinking the nine cups of sugar milkshakes. <laughs> Also, everybody in this town has, like, intense diabetes for some Look, reason. <laughs> here comes Mr. Moore to help Simone. Give, give, give. That's all I ever do. 
Here, have some more. Thanks, bro. Okay, give give Mr. Moore a raise and fire Mr. West. Good job. Kane, you believe it? <laughs> You're doing great. That was a Click good pun, Simone. To begin a new game. Man, this game you takes a while. Two bundles of sugar canes from the shelves and place them in the two Oh, now we only have three basket. shelves to do. We need two bundles that add up to 15. Cool. 10, Ten plus Four. 5. Uh-oh, we'll be drowning in sugar, unless I can help. No, dude. Like, well, then again, we are kind of in the middle of nowhere, so maybe nobody Good even comes job. to this bakery anyways. In which case, you need you Five. also need to relocate, Simone. Six. But this is a fun game. Like... As a kid, I, I immensely enjoyed this game. Good job. Working at the bakery and making baked goods. It's cool. And you Eight. learn about math as a side Seven. note. And as a secondary side note, you learn about business. <laughs> you learn how this is not a profitable business. <laughs> look at all this sugar. Let's see wow, what's just on look at it all. Let's clear out the bottom rack by making desserts. Ooh, there's some this new stuff here. Hold 15 cups of sugar. Okay, okay. Which dessert should we make? To make fried dough, we'll need five cups of sugar. Just fried dough? No. If it was like churros, then yeah, what's to this? To make coconut cream, we'll need six cups of sugar. And what's this? To make mango mousse, we'll need seven cups of sugar. Sure, let's make mango mousse. I don't even like mango, but... <laughs> Why not? Here we go. And I, again, I just want to point out that um, there's way too much sugar in there. What else can we make? Let's make coconut cake or whatever that is. And I guess we'll have to make two veins of hot chocolate. We have... To make hot chocolate, we'll need one cup of sugar. <laughs> Someone's like, hey, uh, this is the uh, Simone uh, Sugarcane Bakery, right? Uh, do you guys have banana chips today? No. <laughs> we have... This is a bakery. <laughs> if you want banana chips, go to go to your local grocery store. We, we don't we don't deal in that kind of <laughs> terrible Whoa, food. <laughs> here comes Mr. Les to help Simone. He's not helping Simone. Take, take, take. That's my motto. All right, I'm loading this out. Okay, Mr. Moore is too generous and people walk all over him. And Mr. Less is like the selfish guy who only takes and never gives anything in return. Neither of them are entirely great. <laughs> they both they both need to work on their personalities a little bit. All right, last mini game. Oh, okay. Well, this is easy. Seven. Pretty soon we'll need some more games. The only way that this would actually work out is if Mr. Moore is the one who keeps giving them sugar canes and Mr. Less is the one who's taking the baked goods from here to the real bakery, which is out in town, and selling them there. If that's if that's the case, then that's actually a pretty good um, business model. But right now, it looks like he's just Mr. Less is just eating everything. It's like, oh, thanks for making me dessert, man. <laughs> so I did make it for you. This is my livelihood. <laughs> Also, everything I see is Let's green. The bottom rack by making dessert. I am not this making banana holds. chips. To make fried dough, we'll need five cups of sugar. All right, fine. We'll make fried dough <laughs> for those people who want empty calories. Here goes. We have twelve left. Okay, cool. Guess what, folks? We're making three plates of we cookies. Have... To make cookies, we'll need four cups of sugar. Again. If you're making cookies at home, you do not need four cups of sugar to make a plate of cookies. If you do, those cookies are not going to be very good. <laughs> Alright, let's just make cookies all day every day. Don't you want to make banana chips now? <laughs> Look, here comes Mr. Moore to help Simone. Looks like you'll be needing more of these. We actually don't. We're, we're done for the day. Not many people Look, buy from this bakery because Mr. Les eats everything. Good job. 
You make me smile. Bleh. Bro, you're kind of creepy. All right. Exit if you need a rest, or keep clicking on the chef's hats to choose your next game. Uh, no, I think we're done with the bakery. Okay, I just, I just want to emphasize how terrible banana chips are. Okay, a, I despise bananas. But secondly, again, this is a bakery. They we're supposed to make baked goods, so even like milkshakes and hot chocolate are not even really supposed to be on the menu. But banana chips is literally let's take a banana, chop it into pieces, and serve that as a baked good. Also, we need to add two cups of sugar to it. It's like, ugh, no, thank you. <laughs> All right, that's world two. Hey, Doctor Who, thanks. There's our souvenir! That math souvenir may help us find the math magician. Can we, can we, oh. Ah, sweet success. I've got all of these great desserts. Oh, pastries for me? You'll have lace now. Hey, come back with those. Don't you be stealing those things. It took me many hours to bake those things, so please. You really need to fire him. You really need to fire him. Oh, man. Well, our souvenir, I guess, is... Oh! Ten fresh sugar canes from South America. That's actually a pretty cool reward. You know that sugar is going to be nice and fresh. To collect it and go to the next okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting there, Maddie. Just be patient. This is a let's play. I'm going to talk a bit. All right, that, that was a fun world. I like that, even though the, the business is going to be... Um, gone in a few, like a month but all right let's give that shoot let's get those sugar canes i don't want to go to world free i want to go back to the world map sneak peek at world free everybody a log cabin in the woods boom because that's where world free uh we're gonna be dealing with measurement that however is gonna be it for this episode thanks for joining in everybody uh, I hope I hope that this uh, episode helped add to your repertoire of math skills. <laughs> uh, that was bad. I also hope that you learned a little something about running a business. Namely, you need to make a profit for it to be um, profitable and to stay in business. Yeah, man. Math journey. What a, what a game. It teaches you about math and logic and other basic things, and they even teach you a little bit about business. <laughs> let's hope that Simone doesn't lose his bakery, and let's hope he makes better things than banana chips. Anyhow, look forward to the next episode. We'll go into that log cabin to learn how to measure things out. Tune in then, and until we meet again, my friends, have a great day, and God bless.